Hey everybody, just finished up a water change here on my 55 gallon tank and you can see my big Pleco is out in full sight hiding there in the Anubius. And I wanted to get a little bit of video of him while I dispelled a couple of myths about nitrates and nitrate tests. Uh, I got a comment from one of my regular viewers about how they were told by the fish store, first of all, that when you do a water change, you have to wait a day or two before you can do an accurate nitrate test. And that is not true. You start the tank back up, especially if you've got a canister filter, you want to let all the water that was in the canister, if you didn't do a filter change, just let that water cycle through, let the tank swirl around, you know, basically give it time to get all mixed up. And, you know, five, ten minutes really is literally all you need. Let the tank volume of the water, you know, turn over once or twice. And then you can do a nitrate test. If there's nitrates in the tank, they're going to be all mixed around by that point, And you're going to be able to do an accurate test. The other thing they were told was that the nitrate test strips were not accurate. And they shouldn't use them. They should buy the drop tests like I use. That, to my experience, is also not true. I've never ever seen anything that indicates that the strip dip tests are not accurate. There's reasons why people don't like them. There's reasons why people don't use them. But from everything I've ever seen, there's no reason to believe they're not accurate. But like the API nitrate tests, they're not super precise either. They just give you a general idea of what's going on in your tank. For me personally, when I started in the hobby, I was told the same thing. And so I went with the drops and I've just kind of always done that ever since. I know it's just habit at this point. There's no reason not to use the strips. But I just prefer to use the drops. If anybody wants to use the strips, you will never hear me complaining to you or telling you not to use them or whatever because they're not accurate. Again, I've never seen anything that indicates that they're not accurate. They're simply not really precise, and a lot of people feel like when they're putting those little drops in the little vial of water and measuring things out, it just gives them a sense of feeling that they've got more control and more precision and that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, both of those tests are perfectly adequate for finding out the general idea of how much nitrates you've got in your tank so thanks for watching that just a couple little quick reminders that when people in the industry tell us stuff remember it's the people in the industry that are telling you that their goal is usually to sell you stuff not to educate you so just a little reminder thanks for watching this one hope you enjoyed that see you real soon in the next one